I don't think I, I'm, I don't go out of my way to be totally different from anybody else. I just know what I like to work in. Um, most people have told me that they recognize my style as unique, but uh, it's not like I go out of my way to, to be unique, kind of. Uh, I think what distinguishes my style is that I, I, um, I, uh, I pick on um, specific topics that interest me, and they usually don't interest anybody else. So. Uh, I, I'm very. I, I enjoy African stories. I, I enjoy the. I, I like African art, especially modern African art, and also I like uh, graffiti work. But I could never do what anybody else is doing. Uh, so it's it's really very difficult for me to copy anything uh, directly, and. Uh, and I like experimenting. For me, uh, uh, a work isn't really... I never know what is coming out at the other end. I work at something until I feel it's correct. So uh, I think my, my work is very... Um, it's, got a, it's got a very highly processed kind of method to it. So there's a lot of work that goes into it and it evolves constantly until I feel that I've given my all to it and there's nothing I could do to make it look better. I think the things that I, I find interesting and that I try to uh, highlight or try to bring out are, are not, nobody would look twice at it. Um, for instance, the, the, I was doing the balloons for long periods of time and somebody commented to them that they, they're really ugly creatures and you know, why would you want to paint them? This, these kind of comments. But when I was painting them, I found them quite attractive, uh, their, their structure, their body structure, uh, their social interaction with, pe with, with other animals, with people, they, they, some of the, the characteristics are almost human, and then they, they sort of between the animal world and the human world, and they sort of exist in this no man's land kind of thing, and so those are the uh, stories that are interesting, the characters that are interesting. Social, it's, there's still a lot of social issues. Uh, crime, um, AIDS is a big issue. Uh, um, poverty, poverty is probably uh, the thing that connects everybody because it, it's, it also influences crime. And um, yeah, and then, um, I think a lot of these. Uh, I think mostly what everybody um, um, tries to express is um, the struggle, uh, mm -hmm. the social struggle that's going on. I don't know yeah, how much influence art can have really on, on these issues. Um, it depends how it's presented and who sees it and, uh, and who backs it. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, especially in Cape Town, I think a lot of the 
author's good and it speaks about the press and it speaks about issues and but the people that should see it or the people that it uh, affects or they, what they're talking about us don't get to see the art because they have their own day-to-day uh, -day issues. So <coughs> uh, I think making the connection with um, who, sh who should see these things and, and who would, who would, would influence is still not uh, still not right or still not uh, perfect. Uh, I think there's, there's still a lot of work to do in that respect. There's always a story, there's always a struggle, and it's always about the human condition, mm -hmm. kind of. So, um, so yeah, I think uh, I think for this country, I think apartheid was just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, there's still a lot to do.